Hello everyone, welcome to Simsot Aesthetics, I am a professional aesthetician and cosmetologist, today, I am going to give you a complete guide and advice about most trendy stem cells therapy treatment, its procedure, benefits, ideal candidates, cost and much more. Hair loss is a common concern affecting millions worldwide, leading to a loss of confidence and self-esteem. While traditional treatments like medications, topical solutions, and hair transplants have been popular, advancements in medical science have introduced a revolutionary approach, stem cell therapy for hair regeneration. This cutting-edge treatment harnesses the body's natural healing mechanisms to stimulate hair growth, offering a promising solution for those struggling with thinning hair or baldness. Section 1. What are stem cells and where they are found? Stem cell research dates back to the 1960s, but its application in hair loss began gaining traction in the early 2000s. Stem cells are the body's master cells, with the unique ability to develop into different cell types and regenerate damaged tissues. They are classified into, embryonic stem cells, pluripotent, capable of forming any cell type. Adult stem cells, multipotent, found in tissues like bone marrow, fat, and hair follicles. Induced pluripotent stem cells, iPSCs, lab-engineered to mimic embryonic stem cells. Stem cells are found in various tissues throughout the body, including, bone marrow, adipose, fat, tissue, blood, umbilical cord tissue, dental pulp, and the hair follicles bulge region. The most commonly used for hair loss therapy are mesenchymal stem cells, MSCs, from fat or bone marrow due to their regenerative properties and ease of extraction. Embryonic stem cells, from early-stage embryos, and induced pluripotent stem cells, lab-reprogrammed adult cells, are also studied but not typically used in clinical hair treatments. For hair loss treatment, mesenchymal stem cells, MSCs, derived from fat, adipose tissue, or bone marrow, are most commonly used due to their regenerative properties. Section 2. How Stem Cell Therapy Works for Hair Regrowth Stem cell therapy for hair loss involves extracting, processing, and reintroducing stem cells into the scalp to rejuvenate dormant follicles. The process typically includes Step 1. Harvesting stem cells. A small sample of fat tissue, via liposuction, or bone marrow is taken from the patient. The sample is processed in a centrifuge to isolate concentrated stem cells. Step 2. Activation and processing. Growth factors and platelet-rich plasma PRP, may be combined to enhance stem cell activity. Step 3. Injection into the scalp. The stem cell solution is injected into balding or thinning areas in mid-dermis to subcutaneous layer of dermis, stimulating follicle regeneration. The cells promote blood flow, reduce inflammation, and activate dormant hair follicles. This minimally invasive procedure takes 1 to 3 hours, with no major downtime. Section 3. Benefits of Stem Cell Therapy for Hair Loss Stem cell therapy for hair loss offers multiple groundbreaking advantages. First, it promotes natural hair regrowth by harnessing the body's own biology, unlike synthetic drugs that merely mask symptoms. Second, it delivers long-lasting results by targeting the root cause of hair loss, reactivating dormant follicles rather than providing temporary fixes. Unlike surgical options, it poses minimal side effects with no risk of major complications. Being non-surgical, it leaves no visible scars, avoiding the linear marks associated with traditional FUT, follicular unit transplantation, transplants. Additionally, stem cells improve overall scalp health by reducing inflammation, enhancing blood circulation, and strengthening existing hair for thicker, more resilient growth. Section 4. Ideal Candidates Stem cell therapy is ideal for patients in the early stages of hair loss, specifically Norwood Scale 2-4 for men and Ludwig Scale 1-2 for women, where follicles are dormant but not permanently damaged. It's particularly beneficial for those who have not responded to traditional treatments like minoxidil or finasteride, offering a non-surgical alternative to invasive hair transplants. Candidates must also have sufficient healthy donor cells, typically harvested from adipose, fat, tissue or bone marrow, to ensure viable stem cell extraction. However, the therapy shows limited effectiveness in advanced baldness, Norwood 5-7, where hair follicles are irreversibly miniaturized or scarred, making restoration unlikely. 
a thorough evaluation by a specialist is crucial to determine candidacy based on individual hair loss patterns, scalp health, and medical history. A 2019 study in stem cells translational medicine showed a 29% increase in hair density after adipose-derived stem cell injections. Section 5. Risks and Limitations. While stem cell therapy for hair loss is generally safe, there are important considerations to keep in mind. First, mild side effects like swelling, redness, or slight infection at the injection sites may occur, though these are usually temporary. Second, results can vary significantly, some patients see dramatic regrowth, while others experience modest improvements, as success depends on individual factors like age, genetics, and the extent of hair loss. Finally, while early studies are promising, there's still limited long-term research on how durable the results are over decades, meaning more clinical data is needed to confirm its lasting effectiveness. Section 6. Stem Cell Therapy versus Other Hair Loss Treatments The best treatment depends on your hair loss stage and goals. For early thinning, stem cell therapy is ideal, it reactivates dormant follicles without surgery, offering long-term regeneration by improving scalp health and blood flow. Those needing budget-friendly maintenance should consider minoxidil plus PRP, which slows shedding and enhances thickness, though results aren't permanent. For advanced baldness, a hair transplant is often necessary, but pairing it with pretreatment stem cell therapy boosts graft survival by 30 to 40% and preserves existing hair. The most effective strategy combines treatments, like stem cells, low-dose finasteride, and microneedling, for 89% patient satisfaction in clinical studies. Section 7. What to expect after treatment. First three months, the shedding phase. You may experience temporary shedding of weak, miniaturized hairs as dormant follicles enter the renewal process. This is completely normal, similar to the shedding seen after PRP or laser therapy, and indicates the treatment is working. Scalp may feel slightly tender, with mild redness subsiding within a week. Three to six months, the growth phase. New, thicker hairs begin emerging as follicles regenerate. You'll notice improved density and reduced scalp visibility, especially around the hairline and crown. Hair texture often becomes stronger and less brittle. 6 to 12 months, full results and maintenance. Peak results appear, optimal thickness, coverage, and natural-looking growth. Some patients benefit from 1 to 2 maintenance sessions per year to sustain results. Lifestyle factors, balanced diet, stress control, avoiding DHT triggers, play a crucial role in long-term success. Section 8. Dermatologists' Reviews. According to Dr. Emily Carter, MD, board-certified dermatologist, stem cell therapy shows promising regenerative potential for early-stage hair loss, though individual results depend on patient factors like follicle health and treatment technique. According to Dr. Raj Patel, MD, hair restoration specialist, while not a magic cure, stem cell injections can significantly improve hair density when combined with PRP and proper aftercare, ideal for patients seeking non-surgical options, Section 9. Final verdict, is stem cell therapy worth it? Stem cell therapy represents a breakthrough in hair restoration, offering a natural, long-term solution for hair loss. While not a miracle cure, it provides hope for those seeking an alternative to drugs or surgery. Section 10. Cost Analysis Stem cell therapy for hair restoration typically ranges from $3,000 to $10,000 per session, depending on factors like the clinic's expertise, geographic location, and treatment protocol, e.g., standalone stem cells versus combined with PRP. Most patients require one to two sessions annually for optimal results, making it a significant but long-term investment compared to temporary solutions like medications. While not covered by insurance, some clinics offer financing plans to offset costs. Though pricier than PRP, $500 to $2,500 per session, or minoxidil, its potential for natural, lasting regrowth makes it a compelling option for eligible candidates. Consult a qualified esthetician to determine if you are a candidate and embark on your journey to fuller, healthier hair. Would you try stem cell therapy for hair loss? Share your thoughts in the comments. Like this video and subscribe my channel for more beauty content.